by volute tax is a prospective registry that enrolled 151 patients with symptomatic uh, severe aortic stenosis related to a bypass bin uh, aortic valve. And they were enrolled at 14 centers across uh, Europe and uh, Canada. It's a quite uh, a unique uh, design that is strong in terms of uh, academic strength because it has a CT collab and eco collab, a clinical event uh, committee. And the patients were treated with the Evolute Pro or the Evolute 34, R34 platforms. The primary endpoint was valve performance. That is the combination of a uh, mean gradient below 20, a peak velocity below three, or, and no moderate or severe regurgitation. This was assessed at 30 days and will be reassessed at one year. And one of the key features of that registry to have a follow-up CT scan for the vast majority of the patients, 100 patients had a follow-up CT scan post-procedure. In terms of uh, bicuspid phenotypes, what we saw in Bivalent X was, uh, as usual, more than 70% of the patient had a type 1 left to right bicuspid valve with a quite calcified anatomy. And so we also had uh, about 10% of uh, type 0 bicuspid. So most of the findings uh, that we, uh, the conclusions that we had relate to type 1 or type 0 bicuspid. We saw a very low mortality at 30 days, where cardiovascular mortality was 1.9%. Stroke rate, major stroke rate, disabling stroke was 3.3%. And it was really interesting to see that uh, the patients in terms of hemodynamics had very large EOAs, 2.1 uh, centimeter square, with low mean gradients, about seven millimeters of mercury, and no patient had moderate or severe uh, regurgitation. It's true that as we are addressing a younger patient, as it is the case with bicuspid aortic valves, making sure that we have Hemodynamics that as as uh, 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 large as possible in terms of EOAs. It was a case in the Bible X registry with a mean EOA of 2.1 centimeters square. Low gradients, once again the case with about seven millimeters of mercury and no uh, major regurgitation, uh, is of major importance because this may have an impact on the uh, final uh, durability of the devices and most importantly for the quality of life of the patient. These patients are going to live longer, so we want to make sure that with, uh, as it is the case with a supranular self-expanding platform, we have great initial hemodynamics and probably sustained in the future. One of the uh, original aspects of the Bivolit X registry is to have the sites pre-declaring their sizing strategy before treating the patients. And what we saw was a quite equal distribution among centers that were only using the annular base sizing. And those were using a combined strategy, uh, comparing the annular sizing and the supra annular measurements, wherever it be the commercial to commercial distance or the supra annular tracing. So it's a kind of 50-50 distribution. Uh, but at the end of the day, when we go more into details, the vast majority of the centers utilized the annular base sizing. And so what we can conclude is that an annual base sizing for uh, TAVI using a self-expanding platform in bicuspid patients works. It's efficient. And it's probably, in terms of recommendation, when we have a tapered configuration, that is to say that the annular dimensions are smaller than the supra annular measurements, it's a word of caution. And in this situation, we should consider a supra annular sizing and probably select a smaller device. Then uh, the second uh, part of the questions in terms of procedural uh, details, what we learned from the registry uh, is first that we should uh, quite systematically predilate the patients because it was achieved in more than 90% uh, of the cases in the Bivolit X registry. We should reshift and reposition the device when needed because it ended at, uh, by no major regurgitation for the patients with very low gradient uh, thanks to the supranal function of the, of the device. And we should post dilate when needed by checking two orthogonal views to make sure that we have something that is quite circular because we saw by the post CT scan assessment that there was a kind of a circular, more circular reshaping of the landing zone with the Evolute platform. 